everybody, uh, Tom Graham again here at AES, and we are in the Crane Song booth with Dave Hill. So we're really excited to have you uh, join us. Thank you, and tell us a little bit about uh, the next generation of Phoenix and your AAX development. Okay, well, Phoenix, Well, one of the things that was done is, of course, it's all 32-bit now. Uh, it has the same sound, did some tricks, noise floor is about 10 dB lower on it, added an improved input trim, has an output trim on it at the moment, and runs both DSP and native. Fantastic. So more controls on Phoenix. You've already got it working as AAX, yeah. native and DSP. And when can we expect this? Because this is really exciting. Yeah, it's going to be available like right around the 1st of November, which is like a couple weeks away, a week and a half away, something like that. That's great. You just have you know some minor tweaks. The other thing that was done is... There was a limitation in TDM that that's why there were five different plugins. This is now a single plugin with a switch on it that you can select, you know, any one of the five, so you don't have to mess around with loading and reloading and changing things when you want to try different things. Maybe just tell us a little bit about this new plugin you're working on for the first of the year. Okay, there's another plugin that, that's under my. There's another company. It's called Dave Hill Designs, and it's called Ra. It's like waveform compression. It's like if you have an amplifier, you can overload that amplifier, but you can select. Do you want to just squash the peaks, or do you want to increase the, the level of the low-level sort of stuff? It like enhances details. So you know, waveform compression seems to be the best way to describe it because there's no attack and there's no release. You know, it's like you got an amp in your amplifier and you're just kind of messing with it. Some of the characteristics sort of of hitting a live console channel. Yeah, yeah. But you can use it in place of a compressor by bringing some stuff up. You can use it in place of a peak limiter by controlling some peaks. It works really well on percussion to bring, like kick snare, that kind of thing, to make things a lot more punchy because you can actually increase the average level by about as much as 10 dB with the thing. That's great. Well, yeah, if you tried that like on a vocal, it would be like, oh, kind of a fuzz box. But it's a lot of even and odd harmonic control depending upon how you adjust it. So, you know, it allows you to have more analog kind of character and actually stuff that you really could never do in the analog domain. That's great. Well, Dave Hill, thank you very much for joining us. We really appreciate it.